Hello everyone! Large fire installations usually require advanced options for controlling end devices and also connecting to third-party systems. In today's video, we are going to talk about the input-output logics supported by our IRIS panel and how we can use them in different situations. In this input-output logic example, the elevator must stop operation in case of a fire in zone 1 or zone 2. We are using a relay output of the MIO model that is going to stop the elevator. We have two detectors, one of them is in zone 1 and the other in zone 2. The MIO 22 should activate if there is a fire in zone 1 or zone 2 and stop the elevator operation in order to isolate these premises. What we need to do is to create input 1 for fire in zone 1 and input 2 for fire in zone 2. They are going to be in all logic in relation to the output action which is going to control the relay output of the MIO 22. In order to execute the scenario, we need to program some inputs and outputs. To do so, we have to enter access level 3, then we need to go to System Programming Inputs. Iris Panel supports up to 250 logical inputs. The first, first one we are going to create, input number 1, which will be linked with the event of fire in zone 1. Type none means this input hasn't been used until now, so it is free for us to use it. We choose type zone, zone fire and zone number 1. After the correct settings are selected, press apply to save the changes and move on to the next input. The second input should be linked to fire in zone 2. Don't forget to hit apply button again. The next step is configuring the logical output. The output definition is the final step of completing the cost and effect scenario. This output will be a result of activation of input 1 or input 2 that we just programmed. But first we will link this output to a physical device, which in our case is the MIO 22 that we intend to control loop 1, address 4, output number 1. The final step is editing the output map. Output, output map is the connection between the inputs and the output. In our case, input 1 representing fire in zone 1 or input 2 representing the fire in zone 2 should activate the MIO 22 output. To do so, we have to enter input 1 and input 2 in the all logic section of the output map. Again, don't forget to hit apply to keep the changes. That would complete the settings for this input-output logic scenario. 